individuals of the genus Homo have been living in Africa for two and a half million years, and they have diversified into a number of species during that time. Where did modern Africans come from? If the replacement model is correct, most of these species died completely without leaving any modern descendants except for one, Homo sapiens sapiens, which then replaced all the others. There is also a second possibility. Perhaps, instead of completely replacing the other species other than Homo sapiens, the early members of Homo sapiens intermarried and interbred with them, and so therefore modern Africans would not only have Homo sapiens as their ancestors, but then populations which we've attributed to other species, but which obviously we should not. Obviously, if these groups were capable of interbreeding, then they would all be considered Homo sapiens. So regional continuity holds that multiple populations interbred to produce the modern Africans. These same questions are relevant to the ancestry of Asians as well. Many separate hominid species have been identified from Asia. Okay. Uh, this asks the question, where did modern Asians come from? If the replacement model is true, only one species, Homo sapiens, uh, gave rise to modern Asians, and all of these other species became extinct. In contrast, if regional continuity is correct, then Homo sapiens interbred with the earlier groups of humans which had already migrated to Asia, and therefore modern Asians would then have multiple populations as ancestors. We wouldn't necessarily refer to them as separate species if they were capable of interbreeding. And so if the regional continuity model is correct, modern Asians are descended both from Homo sapiens and from the earlier groups of humans which had migrated to Asia. These same questions could be asked of Europeans. Europe had been inhabited by multiple species of humans. Where did modern Europeans come from? If the replacement model is true, the Homo sapiens, which came from Africa, say, 100,000 years ago and less, migrated to Europe and completely replaced the earlier populations which had lived there prior. If regional continuity is correct, however, then the Homo sapiens which arrived in Europe uh, interbred with Neanderthals uh, which they uh, found living there. And then modern Europeans would have a dual ancestry, uh, both from this Homo sapiens uh, group and from the earlier Neanderthals which had uh, lived in Europe. Most of the anatomical data and most of the genetic data suggests that the replacement model has the strongest support. Anatomically, we resemble all of us all throughout the world. The Homo sapiens, which evolved in Africa uh, slightly more than 100,000 years ago, and which migrated out of Africa uh, within the past 100,000 years. Genetic studies indicate that the oldest populations of humans are within Africa, and that Africa is the most uh, diverse continent, genetically speaking. In other words, you can have two individuals uh, from neighboring regions in Africa, which are more genetically different from each other than, say, a European would be from an Asian. Okay? There is the greatest diversity of human genes and the greatest genetic diversity in Africa compared to other regions of the world. Now that being said, there is some evidence for the regional continuity model. Some fossils uh, might be interpreted as hybrids between uh, separate, uh, uh, separate human populations. And there is some genetic evidence suggesting that certain modern human populations have genes which don't seem to have arisen from Africa, but rather uh, be very ancient genes which must have arisen elsewhere. So it is possible that there is some intermediate explanation, that perhaps uh, there wasn't a complete interbreeding and um, hybridization between populations, or perhaps there wasn't a complete replacement. Perhaps these older uh, species of humans were largely replaced, but there might have been some interbreeding and thus some contribution uh, to modern 
populations from uh, groups of humans other than Homo sapiens, although it may not have been that significant. 